morning. My name is Dean Jones. I'm up here in Frederick, Colorado. It's a beautiful day at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a really nice 23 new Ventana 3412. Um, but for those new to the channel, please take a time to like, share, and subscribe. So and hit the notification so you know when we go live. And with that, we'll just get started. This is a again 2023 Newmar Ventana 3412 floor plan. It's 34 foot, 10 inches in length. Um, the width on this guy is 8 foot, 6 inches. The height overall is 12 foot, 10 inches. We're going to give you a good pan around of the roof up here in a minute. But uh, um, and the interior height on this guy is 6 foot 11. Uh, be, before I start showing you things, I'll just go ahead and again, Dean Jones, if you have any questions about this video, you can text me at 720-347-7063 or a phone call, or you can email me anything you need on uh, dean.jones at transwest.com. So we'll get started right here on this side. Um, one thing about Newmar, this, this, this one is actually the Gotham decor paint job, beautiful colors, real metallic in the paint. We do have on the entry door, two mechanical steps that come out for easy entry. We also have a keypad for security and we have a doorbell. Now doorbell is kind of nice to have, but with Newmar, the way they build their walls as insulated as they are, you're gonna need that doorbell if you're anywhere in the rear of the coach and someone's knocking on it because you're just not gonna hear it. It's a real quality built coach. Even at this 34 foot, it's a little smaller than the big full timers that we sell, but it's a beautiful coach, a lot of, lot of features. So we'll just come on down here. We do have some storage. Nice carpeted storage, real deep, great for lawn chairs, that sort of thing. Real easy to clean inside of the door. We've got chrome baggage. This baggage locks on this, that's an option. We also have an outdoor entertainment center with the smart Samsung sound bar. It is on an articulating mount. Puts away real nicely. You do run your Bose soundbar right here, and we have USBs for charging and a 110 outlet out here. Great for the Super Bowls, tailgating, stuff like that. We do have an awning package on here. You see, I have them open with tinted frameless windows. And we have a really nice awning that goes through the whole, you know, three quarters of the way down the coach here. Coming down here, we have a pass-through storage. You see our back ladder there. You might see some tiles at the back of the Oasis. Over here, we do have our slide, our awning controller, and we have our uh, we have our central vac right there. This is in front of the water tank, so you get 105 gallons of fresh back there. Uh, but you have some pegboard. You can hang some stuff, some tools, gloves. Maybe some quartz oil or something to that effect. Uh, we are on Michelin tires all the way around this coach. And right here we have a little bit more storage. A little access to some wiring there. And then this is a Spartan chassis. So for those that like Spartan, uh, that's what this is built on. We do have some uh, Engine batteries here for cold cranking, some shutoffs for the chassis, and in true uh, Spartan fashion, we have our filters up here, real accessible, real easy to get to. You're not crawling under the coach to change your filters. That's a beautiful thing about Spartan. Working our way around the backside of the coach here. A few things going on. I'm going to pan away to the roof. We took a shot of the roof earlier, and as we uh, look at that, you'll see it's a fiberglass, complete fiberglass roof, um, real clean. You'll see the awning boxes on the right. You'll see the matching boxes that don't do anything but just aesthetic on the left. Um, you'll see the, you might see a in motion satellite, that little uh, solar panel for the battery to keep the batteries charged. Just a real clean execution of that guy. So, look here, it is a rear radiated coach. All Ventanas are, but they still give you pretty easy to Check your oil, fill it, cool it. You got your trans fluid. This is gonna tell you the health of your big air cleaner, the breeze through the side corner up here. You'll also notice that there's two cameras on the back. You get the backup camera and you also have the 360 camera. This has been opted with 360 OmniView, beautiful system. As you're going through 
parks, truck stops, you're just not gonna run into things because you're gonna see a 360 view around the coach at all times. One of the best features that could ever put on a big diesel pusher. Uh, back here we'll see, we have our trailer hitch. It'll tow 10,000 pounds. We do have our tow brake already ready to go for the air system. Notice the seven pin connector right there. And just a beautiful aesthetic back rear cap. Working our way around this other side. This is a four slide coach, by the way. Didn't mention that. Uh, we do have a little bit more storage here. Notice there are lights in the, in the storage for when you're getting stuff out at night. Here's our 50 amp power cord on a reel. See how that winds up real easy. We do have a surge protector power monitor there. And this is where you'd put your park cable. If you're you know, at a nice RV park and they're supplying some kind of satellite or cable, you just plug it in there and your TV's inside will work just fine. Here's our DEF tank. Diesel emission fluid, it's just gonna keep that emissions from pollutant the atmosphere. We'd like to have that system. And we do have a nice little storage here for any kind of sewer hoses, gloves, anything like that that you don't want in your actual basement. Working our way around here. You will see the egress door. That's a new mark feature where we can actually walk out. We open this door from the inside. I'll show you on the inside, but the ladder comes down, you walk right out. You're not jumping out a window if you need to escape out of a different entrance. Uh, we do have our wet bay right here. A couple things to point out. Full water filtration. That not only makes your water taste better, but it also keeps your whole water system from calcifying. So. We like to see those on all our nice coaches, and we uh, have a nice water fill that's on a reel as well, just like the power cord. Um, your fills, your rinse, your outdoor shower, your low point drains, and it's all lit. And your gate valves here for your sewer, your gray and black tank gate, and those are up in the bay, so you're not gonna be getting these dirty going down the road, having a hard time opening and closing those gates. Real, real good system there. Moving on up, we have a, our Oasis system. This is our hydronic. This is the first level of new Mar diesel pusher that's gonna have this, the Ventana. And this is a hydronic. So this is gonna give you unlimited hot water. It's also gonna heat the coach. It's a, it's a boiler with this uh, glycol system loop that goes through and heats the coach, but it also gives you unlimited hot water. So the thing about the Oasis that's a little bit better, I feel, than the Aqua Hot competitor is it's got two electric burners instead of one. So if you're at that RV park and you're plugged into their electricity and they're charging you for it, you can heat your water and your coach with their electricity on two different burners. A little bit better system there. Over here we'll see the other side of our pass-through storage. Oh no, this is our batteries, I'm sorry. This is our batteries. We do have eight lead-acid batteries powering the house on this coach. That's our pass-through, I'm sorry. These little guys. This is all our power for our chassis. We have some uh, extra fuses right here. This is where you would, you know, headlights, that sort of thing, blinkers. We also get into our front generator bay with this little pole here, it is open. So we'll go ahead and show you that guy. Notice that part of that 360 camera, you have a camera on the front. We also have mobile eye that'll keep you in your lanes. So you're down on the inside. And in our generator bay, we have an 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator. It is running, 13 hours on it, we just checked. Uh, that's gonna supply all the house power if you're boondocking. This length of coach, it being a 3510, you can get it in national parks and if, as long as you abide by the generator curfews and stuff, you could power this just like your house with that guy. We do opt all of our, most of, I think all of them I've ever seen, with an air chuck and a hot water supply at the front of the coach so you can get those bugs and stuff off the windows. We have a light for, if we need to get in here and start this in the nighttime or shut it down, but it's a real nice system. And with the generator being up front, if you are in the, you are boondocking and you, it's hot at night and you want to run your generator, you won't really hear that in the bedroom. It's, it's, it's a little bit shorter, so you might hear a little bit, but it's real quiet being that it's at the front of the coach. And when you're driving, you shouldn't hear that motor because it's at the rear of the coach. 
Speaking of motor, this has a 6.7 Cummins 360 horse motor and it's got an Allison six speed transmission. We also have 800 pound feet of torque on this guy. So that's the walk around on the outside. We'll go in and see what the inside looks like. As I step up here, I'll not you'll notice there is a nice screen door here. Keep the bugs out. Nice solid door, but you also have storage in the steps. They're not missing any opportunity to give you some place to put stuff in this new mar here. And there's a real nice deep one in there if you take a look at that. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. So as we go up in here, you'll notice there is fire extinguisher, your battery shut off, and a cargo door locks there. And we'll just kind of work our way back to the back of the coach and work our way up. So we're back in the master bedroom. One of the options that's nice on this guy is we do have our splendid stackable 110 vented dryer, washer and dryer. That Oasis system, as I said, it kind of runs a glycol loop here, goes through these radiators and blows heat through. Here's a cup, here's one right there. They're kind of hidden in plain sight, but they're, they're, it's real nice and warm in here actually. It's kind of a chilly day out there. So, give you a look at the closet back here. This is a coat cushion for the the booth that makes a little bed up the front. So you've got a minute. You do have access to your plumbing in the event you need to shut that off. And you also have on this side, it's a little deeper on that side. You can put a, maybe a hamper or something there. It is a queen bed model. They did redesign this whole thing for 24. It's a 3512 now, it's a footer and some change longer. It comes with the king bed, but if you're in the market for a queen bed, this is the coach. We have some storage above the bed. We also have ports if you wanted to put a CPAP machine or something to that effect up here. Uh, you do have a 110 right there, as you can see. Again, four slide unit, this is a slide. Your TV wardrobe's a slide. Um, we do have storage underneath. Oh, it's just access to some stuff down there. And we do have nightstands on both sides. And the nightstands do have charging ports, 110, and a little storage right there. Up above head, we do have our HVAC uh, kind of trim pieces here. Our heat pumps are on, I can feel the hot air coming down. Um, everything on a new Mars is a straight line, so when the slides are in, you get all your HVAC in the coach going down the road. Coming over here, some nice storage, nice smart TV. This can be used as an, another emergency exit, but again, we have an egress door right in the bathroom, so probably wouldn't be taken down unless I absolutely had to. It's a little high up in the air. All of our manuals there, and some shelves. This is a stationary smart TV. We all have these nice drawers right here too. Down here we have our HVAC cabinet. HDMI is already to the back of that TV, so you can put kind of receivers or gaming systems or anything like that in there. You also notice that we have solid surface countertops, tables, and everything throughout. We do have a quick question, Dean, if you've got a second. Absolutely. Danny would like to know what size is the motor and what's the torque on it. Gotcha. It's a 360, 6, 7 liter Cummins and it's got 800 foot pound of torque. Back to the drawers, we got three more down here. And thanks for the question, Danny. We've got really nice ceramic tile in here. The slides are going to have carpet on them. That's just a Vantana thing. And we have a nice privacy door right here. So when you have company, you can kind of get some rest without any interruptions. We have a little bit of a, it's a smaller pantry, a lot of shelves, but we got our 
some kind of insulation or something there for our our whole slide system. So these are this is just all the insulation. Keep that that same continuity of insulation from the roof to the floor to the basement, all that stuff. I mean, in the kitchen we do have a nice residential fridge. We do have an ice maker and water in the door. Get a look at how deep that is. Before I get too crazy going down the kitchen, I'm going to show you this mid bath. So one bath in this coach. I am 6'1". It's a smaller shower, but it's plenty. I don't know if you can come in here and see this, but um, it does have a AquaView water saver. And how that works is you would turn your water on to desired temperature, put the valve in recirculating mode. It'll go through the oasis until it gets to temperature. This would light up, and then you turn it on and you start showering. Uh, why you would do that is so you wouldn't waste fresh water and you wouldn't fill up your gray tank. We do have a wand here. This has actually been winterized, so. And we have a nice rain shower head there. So dual head, skylight in the ceiling. And this is that egress door that I was telling you about. This just opens up, only opens up from the inside, so. And that ladder just comes on down. You walk right up, right on down to the, to the ground there in the event of emergency. We also have day and night shades on all the windows. They're not power, I mean, they're not power, they're manual. You have to get to the Dutch store to get that. But we also have some storage here for linens. Nice GFCI here with power there for curling irons, that sort of thing. A little medicine cabinet. Porcelain toilet. Vessel sink, again, solid surface countertops. And you do have a fantastic fan up here. So if you wanna get the steam out real quick or the hot air out, just hit the little thing on the, the wall here. Getting back to the galley here. Oh, before I go there, I'll show you. This is kind of new, for, this is new for 23. But you have a full touch screen. We have all of our tanks, our batteries, um, some quick on and off for lights tank heaters, which are on, uh, water pump, that sort of thing. You can top off, if you've got the city water in and you want to top off your tank, you can go ahead and do that, auto fill it. Um, we do have automatic gen start, which is a beautiful feature if you are leaving animals in the coach and you're gonna go hiking. Good. Um, we can set this for a temperature to come on and get the temperature of the HVAC system where you want it, or if the voltage gets drained down, it'll kick it on, very cool thing there. This is how you run your, your HVAC, much like your house, just the thermostat. Um, you can also pair this to your phone and get this whole interface on your phone through connected solutions. Then you have a light panel that just kind of goes through all the different lights. And if I wanted to turn one light off, I could do so. And you have bathroom, bedroom, real simple to use. Do Here, a question okay, said. absolutely. And Danny would also like to know what the wheelbase is. The wheelbase on this one. I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, Actually, I might have that right here. It just says it's a Spartan chassis, 34 foot. So I don't have the actual inch wheel base, but I will get back to that. If you want to email me, I can email you back. Just send me a question at dean.jones at transwest.com. I'll look that up for you. I've got a bunch of different wheel bases here. It's kind of hard to remember all the numbers, but um, back to the this wall here, we do have another fantastic fan here. Same control that's in the bathroom, and that's going to power this one. Um, I'll also put it in the comments of my video when it gets put up on YouTube. Nice microwave here. This is a convection oven. And this is an all electric coach. There's no propane in this coach. So you're gonna notice we do have an induction cooktop. It is portable, it comes out. You can go use it down, down outside on your campsite if you wanted to cook something outside. This has also been offered with the nice big kitchen window here again. We do have both of our shades, and these windows do open, but you can get a really good view of what's going on on your campsite. Undermount, stainless sink, double basin, really nice faucet on this guy. We've got some more drawers right here. Oh, 
there's the, there's the sink, the other sink top there. And I've got some more, here's some of your remotes for your TVs. This will run the big awning out there. Actually, we can uh, bring that awning in. Huh, at least I don't have shut. I got some more drawers here, and they are soft clothes. You pull them in, and they keep them in. Little thing for scrubbies. We also have our other sink top right here. So as you can see, oh, the way around. Plenty of counter space. You just fly with a little trash can, a place to put that. And a little scrubby holder there. So as I showed you earlier, there's a cushion. There's a little bit more storage there. Get both sides of that, with these two doors. Um, this does make a bed. Just push this down and that cushion fills this in and you can make a bed for a little guy. Lock it up. This does have a Batelevator. I'll put that down so you can see the nice beautiful window back there. Plenty of visibility on that campsite. Just like that pantry kind of has that box on the, running down the side. This whole slide is insulated. It's insulated up top too. So you have some storage. You can kind of see that they, they uh, do carpet all these so you don't hear things bouncing around going down the road. Another sound bar for that televator. And again, your HDMI's for that guy. And another. Oh, the refrigerator's back. It's this guy open. It says warning us that the door's open. Gotcha, that's cool. So come around on this side, we do have, this has been ordered with the sleeper couch. And with that, it was ordered with ottomans. So these ottomans do offer some storage under there. You can kick this up for a little bit of softer foot thing. And I will demonstrate the sleeper real quick. I don't fight this one like I fought the last one last week. There's a little latch over here. You just pop that up. This thing pops out. And it's not a blow-up mattress. It's an actual sofa mattress. A nice queen bed there for some guests if you need to host some people as you're going on your travels. Just snaps in. And before I, you can see back here, three sets of seat belts for travelers. The inside decor on this is Gotham as well. So Gotham on the outside, Gotham on the inside and Newport glazed maple high gloss cabinets and beautiful Newmar craftsmanship. Speaking of the cabinets, we have some more space above the couch. Notice there's no barriers here, so if you want to put umbrellas, anything longer, you can do so. Nice little recliner. It uh, you can move this out, move it around. You can also turn these chairs around. These are on swivels. They turn, and you can make this a really nice conversation pit as you're going down the road. That's pretty much the living quarters of this guy. Let me move this chair back. 
and I'll show you the cockpit. Before I sit down, we got our command center. Basically, this is where we kind of run the coach. This is our Oasis system. Did talk about the two burners. This is how you would heat it that way. We do have the diesel burner right it now. It's nice and cozy in here. Uh, we do have a satellite system in this guy. I showed you up on the roof. This is your awning panel. We do have the remote as well. I showed you in the kitchen. Um, and this is a little awning right over the front door. So if you need to get in and underneath your awning to get into your storage to get stuff and it's raining out, you can have protection with that. We have security lights on the outside and we have our slide buttons here. This is our power management system, our inverter. Oh, this is our power management system, I'm sorry. This will actually tell you what's drawing what amps and what have you. Um, and this will kick the inverter on. Come down here, it's, it is a Spartan chassis, a little different than our Freightliners. But, uh, as you see the Spartan digital display. We also, with that, we have our uh, windshield wipers here, our phone, um, some of our entertainment stuff, our home screen. We can kind of navigate through the computer. We also have Comfort Drive. Comfort Drive is a Numar specific um, steering controller where you can actually ramp up and down the steering effort. And you would do that if you had a side wind and you're feeling it in your shoulders, you can make it a little less, uh, little less effort go down the road. The other thing this, this does is as you're turning, it's always bringing the wheels back to true center. So you're steering half the time, but better yet, when you're backing into that space, you let go of the steering wheel. Well, not let go, but you, you know, kind of let, let the steering wheel go straight and you're always going to be going straight back and forth. We have our headlights. We have bright and dim for our dash, our fog lights, our dome lights. We have our Auto high beams, you can turn it on and off. These are our mirrors, we can adjust those. And we have a nice mirror heater right there. Mirror defroster, I'm sorry. Our Allison six speed transmission with overdrive. Um, what's also nice about this is you can go in here and you can do some diagnostics on your uh, your transmission oil temp temperatures and that's, that sort of thing. You can do some simple diagnostics on that guy. We do have an engine brake on and off, it's a one stage. Um, if I were to have left the lights on and I needed to jump, start the, the, the motor and I didn't have enough um, chassis battery power, I can always jump it from the house or vice versa. Um, and we do have a one touch EQ systems, eco smart leveling system. So turn this on, you hit auto level and this thing's gonna level itself. And when you're ready to go, you just hit all retract and it'll pull them all up and you're ready to go. Over here we have our visors and some of our shade buttons, our overhead fan, get them high low on that. Um, the front fans here, that, that actually brings heat in from the Oasis system. You can kind of power that there. And as you see, we have our generator going. I'll shut it down right there. Still not a whole lot of noise in that guy. Oh, we do have navigation on this guy. Always know where you're going. And this is programmed with the dimensions of the coach. It shouldn't take you under any bridges you're not supposed to go on. Um, as far as the menu, um, one of my favorite features of the coach, and we mentioned it outside, was the 360 camera. You, we got a little distorted because we have our slides and stuff open, but um, that's going to do that. You can also kind of navigate through the different screens if you want to see both sides and the 360, which is a nice feature. And you can do that going down the road. And we also have our Voyager system, which is that top camera, always showing you what you're towing and who's behind you. So great feature on both of these. A little smaller screens than the Dutch Stars, but they get, they get the job done. That's the mobile eye I showed you on the outside. And what that's going to do is kind of keep this coach in between the lanes. You start getting close to the line on either side, it's going to let you know. Uh, another great safety feature on this coach. This is going to run your HVAC much like you would in the car you drive every day. Um, and we have the entry lock. You can lock that here from, from our driver's seat. You have some storage here. And we have our park brake here and of course the ignition. Well, that's it for the, 20, the 3412 today. Um, give you some more specs on that before I go. Let me grab my clipboard here. Um, Again, it's a Spartan chassis. It's a 360 horse Cummins 6.7 liter.
turbo diesel in the back, uh, 800 foot-pounds of torque, Allison six-speed transmission with overdrive. The length of this coach is 34 foot uh, 10 inches for people with the shorter barns. Let's put this in there. Um, the width is 8 foot 6 inches. The height is 12 foot 10 inches, just under 13. And the interior height in here is 6 foot 11 inches. Um, the dry weight on this coach is 29,000 pounds. You can put 7,200 pounds of payload in this guy. Plenty for anybody, whatever you need to put in here. Um, you can flat tow 10,000 pounds. Um, GBWR on this is 37,000 pounds. Fresh, fresh water's got 105 gallons. They have a 75 gallon gray tank and a 55 gallon uh, black tank. So we appreciate you stopping by and checking out our video today. And uh, again, my name is Dean Jones. You can get me at 720-347-7063, Danny. And uh, hopefully you email me at dean.jones at transwest.com. And we will see you next Wednesday. Real quick, stay tuned for AC. He's going to be doing a nice one of our pre-owned B-Vans, a really nice one today. So he's next, and we'll see you later.